Okay, you guys, in case you was wondering what I was doing, I was actually going live on Instagram because I am, just like yesterday with the unboxing video, if you forgot to, well, if, if you did not see the live video, there is a video on my YouTube channel for the unboxing. It was an update in kitchen appliances, things that I'm going to be using this summer. Um, yeah, they're just going to make it easier for me. So, you guys on YouTube, the video is going to be the, I can't say the prior video because I have another one to load. Um, but you're going to see it. You're going to see it. It's, it's probably going to be the third, second or third video from here. Um, you guys that's on live, go to my to my YouTube channel, Pinching Pennies with Tamika. Um, that's P-I-N-C-H-I-N-G-P-E-N-N-I-E-S-W-I-T-H-T-O-M-I-C-A, one word, um, and you'll find that video because I did load it today. Um, those of you that's on my YouTube channel, if you're not following me on Instagram, and I know a couple of you have um, followed me today, and I think I confirmed everybody, um, but the Instagram is Pinching Pennies 28 P I N C H I N G P E N N I E S 2 8. So basically, this is going to be a cooking video. I am going to test out one of the things I got yesterday. Um, well, I upgraded my rice cooker and my other crock pot. I upgraded those. So you saw that and I told you the video. But one thing I have not used is the instant pot. So um, I'm going to do dinner live and as a cooking video for you guys um, now. So basically what I had in mind, this is something I just bought up, you know, I'm going to do, see, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do drumsticks with peppers and onions and broccoli, and then I'm going to make a sweet pea rice. Yeah, those of you that know, I, me and the kids eat a certain way, um, those of you know me back home you know I, I love I love the pork I loved all that but as you know I got older and issues that I had since I was little with indigestion I can't eat beef and pork anymore I choose not to um, because it's just I just don't digest it well hey Liz um, so you came in right on time I'm about to do a cooking video so in case you have to run um, you can watch the replay or it'll be on my YouTube channel. Um, but, oh, we got to get together for a play date too. Kylie been asking. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. So I think it's going to be chicken and Liz. You got to check out my, you missed the live yesterday. So you have to check out my YouTube channel. Um, yes, my YouTube channel um, with the appliances that I upgraded. I upgraded my crock pot and um the rice cooker and i'm finna use this thing called the instant pot let me show you you can see it so we finna do that today i haven't used it i don't know what i'm doing but hey i'm gonna figure it out i gotta remember that i'm recording too at the same time so let's get started so i think um what i need to do first is going to be um I'm gonna cut up the onion. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up the onion. So I just have one. I guess you could say it's large, medium to large onion. Um, and I have chicken is defrosted. It's in water because I have washed it. I know they say you don't have to wash your meat. I wash my meat. I do. Yes, girl, we do. Cause Kylie been acting um like crazy. So. Same thing, y'all. Like I say, I forget that I'm not that I'm recording. So, one medium to large onion. Um, so yeah. So I'm just gonna cut it up into strips. I'm gonna show you guys once I get through cutting them, like how it comes out. I'm not good with cutting onions, but hey, it is what it is. It's gonna get the job done. That's all that matters. So. So yeah, and I could show you this, but it's gonna be very quick because 
this onion that already started. I washed my meat too. Yes, girl. I'm like, uh-uh. I can't do that. Uh-uh. I don't, mm-mm. No. So I washed it and I just got it sitting over here. Um, because another thing I do, once I have raw meat in my sink, um, you'll see I wash it immediately with like um soapy water and bleach. Because y'all don't laugh at me. The onions is the truth. And I do have onions in my blend. Um, that I, you, The pepper blend that I'm going to be using. But I just feel like I need it more. Um, whoo, low. So. And you know what? I may just use... I may just use half of this onion. Let me see. Because it looks like. Because I forgot this onions in that pepper blend. So. Yeah. I'm going to use. Half. I think. <gasps> okay. Yeah y'all. Because I can't do this. I can. But. Honestly. I really just don't need. No more of them. So, y'all, and my onions is cut all different ways. Y'all gonna see in a minute. And I can put that up for another meal to go for another meal. Liz, I've been seeing some of your meals. Um, you know what? I could turn y'all down so y'all can see what's going on. I can keep y'all up. Let me wash my hands. Yeah, I need somebody to tell me how do y'all get removed the calcium? Liz, you probably know what I'm talking about. The calcium buildup that be like coming around the water from the like the calcium that's in the water. I hate that. Like, and you can scrub, scrub, scrub. That stuff do not want to come off. Off from like around the sink and where the water come out. That I don't, I don't like that. Let me turn you guys down so you can see. Okay, and I'm gonna bring y'all down too. Don't laugh for my onions. Let's see. My phone thing ain't gonna come all the way up, so I'm just gonna bring y'all to it. So that's what I did. I just cut them like that and the piece the, the piece right there i'm just gonna save for another meal so all right so the instant pot i haven't found the solution i hate it too yeah it makes your sink look like it's well right around the thing it makes it look like it's dirty and you know i don't like that and it's just the, the water the calcium stuff so um Alright y'all, so we're over to the the instant pot. Oh the the onion is is the truth. Oh my goodness. It's the truth. Alright, so I got too much going on over here. Alright. So, this is how the Instant Pot tray look. Oh, uh, no. I hit some. I don't know where it was. Okay, so everybody can see. And it gives more light. All right, so I don't know why I didn't think about using my gloves the first time. So all I'm gonna do is just take just the onion and put in there. Cause it says this thing's supposed to sear, and then you can change it to like bake or a slow cook or whatever you want to do. So, like I say, I'm used to using the crock pots, 
So, I haven't never used one of these. Let me get this over here out the way. I think I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm just using the Great Value Broccoli from Walmart. I need to get me some more um, kitchen scissors because I don't know what happened to them. guys how much it is like I say I'm just eyeballing it um and then I'm gonna add some of the three pepper and onion blend so, and these are not hot peppers these are just your red pepper your um yellow pepper and your green bell pepper Nothing spicy. Right. So, okay, so, um, y'all know I don't use vegetable oil. None of that. I use coconut oil, but this time I'm just gonna use um, olive oil. Let's take olive oil. And I just eyeball it. <laughs> and you may have to add some more. Just depends. But let me bring y'all close so you can see what it looked like. In here, uh, you see. So that's what it look like right now in the um in the pot in the thingy. So there you guys, I think you can see. That's what it look like so far. So I wish I could get it to where. Okay, y'all can actually see in there a little bit. And then I have to show you as I get it for you guys so okay so we're gonna sear this first so like I say we're gonna see and when y'all buy stuff new it's a piece of paper towel on it from washing it make sure you wash I try to wash everything <laughs> make sure you wash your stuff out because you may have stuff from like the manufacturer so okay let's see all right, so it says sear and saute and say 400. I guess it'll take about 30 minutes. Mm, all right, well, all I hit was sear and saute button. It say on and say 30 minutes, so I guess we'll have to see what happens in 30 minutes. So, yeah. Okay. We'll see in a few minutes what it actually is doing. And I'm waiting on it to like count down or something or initiate. It say it's on. Don't feel like it's heating up. I guess we'll have to see. So while that is, we're waiting on that to do whatever <laughs> it's gonna do. I'm finna go ahead. I guess put on the 
Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and put on the rice, you guys. So, again, again, um, haven't used this before. Um, let me show you. First, I might want to put this stuff back in the oven. I mean, oven, Lord. The what? You have to set the timer. But it's telling me to saute is 30 minutes. No, it's, um, you can hear it now. I think you set the timer only if you're going to slow cook. Um, yeah, I hear it. So with this one, okay, we learned something. You just, since I'm just sauteing and searing, you're going to hit saute, hit the button. And then when it says on, it automatically sets to how long they think it's going to take to do a sear. Because I can actually hear it. Yeah. So you want to set the time like if you're going to slow cook or if you want it to bake for a certain time. I guess, I don't know if steam, because I, I haven't used it. But yeah, it's working. It's working, but thanks, hon. I need to buy one. The thing is awesome. Girl, I'm, like I say, I haven't. Um, and this one, I don't know. Liz, I don't know if you're on my YouTube, but... um. I have an unboxing where I bought this one, a, the a new rice cooker, because I had like just the um, regular one, and another crock pot, all that I could set the times on. This thing, I never heard of an instant pot, <laughs> but it's at Walmart for like 80 bucks. So, supposedly we're going to see, I supposedly be able to um, saute this and then change the setting over to bake, to bake the chicken. Y'all hold on. So literally, it um oh it's hot it's hot like let me show you guys oh yeah it's getting it. It. So now that it's cooking, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some parsley. And y'all see, these are my go-to seasonings. Like I say, I can't do all the other stuff. So, I just... Okay, that's too slow. We gonna um, pour it. I'm gonna do parsley. Hey, Corinne. I didn't even see you come in. I don't even know if you're still in there now, but girl, I'm sorry. I didn't see you come in. So that was parsley. Um, I'm doing black pepper. Some cilantro. I eyeball my seasoning. Just whatever you think you like. But I have to kind of add more. 
herbs or whatever. Um, because of the fact that I don't use a lot of seasoning. And I only use sea salt. I don't use um, the other. So... Smells so freaking good. One thing about it, the the time haven't went down, so maybe that's just for whatever. But I mean, it's. It's searing it or sauteing it, whatever you want to call it. So I'll let you guys see. Looks so freaking good. So so good. Yes, yes, yes. So I think I'm gonna let this go for um A little bit. And while that's doing this thing, I am going to, I guess we can go ahead and do the rice. You need one? Walmart, Walmart, 80 bucks. I mean, it's worth it, I think. It's worth it. Because I'm not finna be doing, um, I'm not finna be cooking over no stove. You see how hot it is outside? Just turn on the stove and inside, it be baking like the air condition is just like, look chick, it's too hot out there, I'm doing the best I can. Like, I be turning it up like, well, turning it down like 70, 69 degrees and just making sure all the vents and stuff, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's too hot, no. And then with me um working throughout the week and Everything that I have to do, I need to just make it easy. So, this is the one I upgraded to. Um, haven't used it yet. It say this thing. It has a setting for like the brown rice, white rice, which today we're doing white white rice. Um, of course, it keeps warm. You have flash rice. I'll try that. I'm not sure. I don't know if the flash rice is the maybe the minute rice I don't know but I need to get these settings right I think y'all too close and you need to be down alright so Kylie can you give me that manual right there yep that one yep there you go so, because I need to know my measurements. <laughs> um, uncooked rice, two cups. You feel, you say rice water line inside pot. Okay. Water with measuring cup, two and a half cups. So that's the water line. I gotta look at this a little closer. Okay, both say the same thing. So, let's see. Oh, it takes brown rice a long time to cook. Hmm. So, Better with two cups of rice. Line two. Okay, so if I do three cups. I go to line three. Or you can do the water with the measuring cup. I'm gonna do the water with the measuring cup because uh, that's confusing. 
So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Kylie, give me a bottle of water. I don't use the faucet water when I'm cooking like rice and stuff. I use bottle water. Um, I don't know. I might wanna stir this. Alright, let me hear him do this so I can tend to that. I gotta put the meat in there. So let's see. I think a cup came with something else. So guess what y'all? Don't let them say use my own measuring cup because um, the measuring cup I will say that comes with that is confusing like so I'm gonna use my own measuring cup <laughs> all right so I'm gonna do four cups of rice no yeah No, I'm going to do two cups of rice. Since this is my first time, I'm going to do two cups of rice. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'll do another cup. Because I'm looking at, uh, I'm feeding five people. So. so I'm going to do three cups of rice. And it's all said and done. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Um... I want to rinse out the um Kylie. Yeah, why do I look like I don't know what I'm doing when actually I know what I'm doing? Give me another bottle of water. I know what I'm doing. I just look like I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe because I'm not used to, you know. I know exactly what I'm doing. So, I need another bottle. It's so much different than my other one. I ain't finna measure it out. I lost count anyway. We just finna pull. That looks about right. Cause it's supposed to be like. A little bit above the water. I meant the, the rice. Uh, that's enough. Okay. Now, I like to make rice and peas. So, I put sweet peas. And, and sometimes you can put carrots in it if you want or whatever. But the kids really, really like it with the um, sweet peas. So, I'm just going to pour some sweet peas in it. And these are the frozen sweet peas. Um, I was making it with the camera, but I wanted something that hadn't been processed. Um, 
that hadn't been processed and that's hence the reason why I used a little bit more um, a little bit more water because I am adding um, peas. Okay, I got it. That's it. Thank you. So, um, I have, I use, it's just a full drying butter, but this one is with olive oil and sea salt. Um, but you can use any butter that you want. This is just what I use because it's supposed to be a little bit more healthier. But it's still butter. I just eyeball it. I just eyeball it. Because I have three cups of rice in here, I'm using a little bit more butter. in this just a little bit because your butter probably already has salt in it so you don't need that much in there let me check on this okay that look like it's about to rock so we're going to be adding the meat in that in a few minutes um, as soon as I can get get some of this stuff like put up. Oh, I forgot too, y'all. I add cilantro um, in my rice also, and I haven't put that in there. So put the rice over here, and we're gonna add some cilantro in it. And I will add some parsley too. So it don't hurt. It's pretty much whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. I mean, y'all probably like, dang, this live is long. But um I had a comment yesterday that the lady was like, I need to um she can't wait to watch what I cook in um, everything I don't have no excuse now so you're right I don't have no excuse so you see what's going on so I'm gonna close the lid well let's see if y'all want to see how it looks it's three cups of rice uh, if you can see cilantro butter sweet peas and I gotta move it over y'all Um, cilantro, butter, sweet peas, parsley, the rice, and the water. Put that on. I'm going to go over here and plug it up. And then I should be able to just hit white rice. And that should be it. I'm waiting for that to see whatever <laughs> whatever it's gonna do um, so yeah but in the meantime I need to finish this so um, it's sauteed showing you guys I think it's sauteed good enough Everything has been got soft. Okay, so I put the top over there because it was so hot. And you're not supposed to put um, hot glass on cold surfaces or cool surfaces. It'll make it pop. So it started making a sound, so I was like, let me go ahead and put it over there. So, let's 
So now what I'm going to do is take my chicken. I don't forgot what it thinks. It's making sounds. I guess it's cooling off or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken. And... Start adding it to the thing. Before I do anything, I need to clean out my um my sink. Remember, anytime you got raw chicken, raw anything, please clean your sink and stuff out. Like I use um dish detergent and what are you supposed to be? And I use bleach. Daddy. So this is like a must for me. Like time I get the raw food out of the sink, I need to be washing it. olive oil over the chicken and then I'm going to season like the top of the chicken all your seasons I get in there um, a little bit of salt
So on the chicken, I basically did salt and pepper because the vegetables is gonna um the vegetables already have seasoning from you, you know. So my finger touched the chicken as I was um as I was uh, Okay, so the thing says cooking. So I'm gonna show you guys what it look like. So making sure it didn't crack or nothing, because it was um I guess when it's cooling down and make it was making the popping sound. Oh, it looks like it's good. It was just making like popping sound, I guess, with the air being on, and it was so hot. So, yeah. So that's good to go. Guess I'm gonna straighten up a bit, and um, I'll be back. I'll be back to you guys. Um, once it's done, yeah, once it's done, I'll be back to you guys. Okay, you guys, so I'm back to show you how everything came out. That's the rice. It was more rice because I'm going to show you their plates. Um, I started making their plates already. So, I don't know if you can see it. But, yeah. And this is how the chicken actually look. I just put some more chicken broth in there. Um, just to give it more juice. But... It came out really, really good. And we just putting this over the rice. And oh my goodness. So good. So yeah. And it smells so good, y'all. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Yeah, get your Instant Pot if you don't have one. Till next time, happy cooking. Bye, you guys.